In this video, I'd like to respond to what's said in this other video and expand on the topic with what I've learned. If it looks like I got that, that's because I got that. Now let's start with my understanding of it so you can be sure we aren't talking about two different things. I think the point made in this video is to allow yourself to be hated by some people while still doing things you want to do or say words you want to say. But I think, as always, it's more complicated than that in real life. So why do we hate? Why the evolution made us capable of hating something, or more relevant to our topic, to hate others based on what they say and what they do? Well, I don't know for sure, but I imagine the capability to hate is like fear, which serves us as a threat handling mechanism, hence stay alive and pass your genes. When you feel hate, you want to eliminate the thing from your environment. That's certainly what I did when I found out the place I used to live in have cockroaches. Of course, I have no proof of this, so feel free to come up with your own hypothesis, or better, test it. Or maybe people have tested it? In that case, let me know in comments. Maybe it's not just innate, we can learn to hate and distrust for that matter, because it's safer to assume the intent is hostile, rather than having no chance to regret. Bad experiences are said to be more powerful in affecting decision making. But the problem with being hate is, you become less capable to tell whether it's a threat or just a constructive advice, whether other people just don't like you, or they are trying to tell you how to get better. Sometimes these are mixed. And I suppose this is why you get hated. When you are just trying to point out this is not going to work, other people's instinct is telling them you hate them and you are a threat to their survival. And I suppose this is why you have to be hated. Once in a while, I see people complain the world is so fake with its fake laughs and compliments that have no real meaning to fill an entire conversation. But with my unsupported hypothesis in mind, you can see they are just trying to avoid being identified as a threat to the other person. I mean, we promote these things to happen. How could I be wrong? I don't like being wrong. It's easier to accept evidences that suggest that person just hates me and to hate that person back rather than look at whether I'm wrong as if I'm wrong. I don't like fake world. I want to spend my time in meaningful conversations rather than polite and awkward conversations. What I decide to do instead is still tell the truth, but try to reduce the chances of getting hated. So what I do could have better impact. I mean, you are ready to risk getting hated. Why don't try to get good at it? For example, to choose your tone towards more positive or give people a chance to see it's a constructive advice if they wanted to, by giving them more advice and less complaining, if they wanted to. You see, this is the thing with words. They are swords so gentle that only those who wish to be hurt can be hurt by it. Even if you say, I'm just trying to help, I don't hate you, people could still hate you, if they really wanted to. I mean, we are so good recognizing patterns that we see faces on the moon. But those are the cowards who are so afraid of getting hurt, they get much less help when they are trying to achieve things desired. You can get further than getting hated. Most people hate you are just going to be trolls and post stuff filled with hate. But if you read them a lot, sometimes some brainy trolls like you actually tries to find what's wrong with your ideas when they hate you, in effort to further embarrass you. And sometimes they get it right. So you can just take that as an advice. Why be angry at trolls when you can learn from them? And that completes the full cycle. See you next time in DFTBA.